Hi everyone, this is Pastor Tony with Grace Fellowship in Christ Jesus. I have a word for you today, and the word is, be encouraged, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. The Lord put that on my heart a few minutes ago, and actually it's been kind of on my heart all day long, and I feel like somebody needs to hear this. And uh, each time I've tried to record this or go on live, um, the enemy is trying to keep me from delivering this word so I know that it's a word for somebody right now. You know, the scripture talks about in Luke 4, 18, it says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set a liberty, to set at liberty those who are oppressed. And, you know, this is where Jesus stood up in the synagogue and read this from the scroll. And then he rolled it back up and he gave it to the attendant. And he sat down and he told the people around that today this has been fulfilled in your hearing. And so Jesus was saying that this is him. And we have to remember that his spirit lives in us as well. And that we, his spirit empowers us to go out and encourage one another or can encourage somebody out there that needs to be encouraged. That his spirit, his Holy Spirit lives within each and every one of us. But I wanna read it again and I wanna break it down just a little bit for you to receive it. The spirit of the Lord is upon me or the spirit of the Lord is inside you because he has anointed you to preach the gospel to the poor or to declare the good news to the poor. He has sent me, or he, he sent you to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed. What does that mean? You can be an encourager. I can be an encourager to somebody out there. Maybe you don't know for sure who it is, but the Lord can lead you. He can lead you. I call it divine appointments, that he will cause somebody to cross your path that needs to be encouraged, or maybe you need to be encouraged and the Lord will bring somebody across your path. Here's another scripture in Psalms 30, verse five, it says, weeping may go on all night, but in the morning there is joy. You know, in Ecclesiastes, it talks about there's a season for everything. Maybe you're in a season right now of feeling down and out or depressed or you just feel stuck. Well, that season is just for a time. I'm declaring right now you're coming out of that season and you're coming into a season of joy and with hope and that faith would rise up within you, that you would continue to move forward, that you would continue to live your life um, as Jesus living inside you and through you. So today, this is my word of encouragement to you. We are going to begin to call this our daily devotional. And uh, I wanna encourage you, I wanna build you up. I want you to keep on keeping on, so to speak. I want you to be a blessing. I want you to be blessed. I wanna declare over you that you are highly favored of the Lord. So as we end this time, I wanna pray before we leave. Would you pray with me? Heavenly Father, right now, I declare your word. I send your word to each and everyone listening right now, that that person that needs to hear your word, that needs encouragement today, that sorrow that's trying to weigh them down will be turned around for joy, that they would trade that sorrow for the joy of the Lord. Lord, right now, I thank you that you're the lifter of their head, that you are building them up, that you have a plan for their life, a purpose for their life. And I thank you, Lord, today that you would give them a glimpse of the purpose that you have for them. So right now, I thank you, Jesus, for your goodness and your mercies. I thank you that today is a day of turnaround. Today is a day of change. Today is a day of new beginning. So right now, we give you all the praise and the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. I'll talk to you tomorrow.